Welcome to Horror Movies and Beyond. I'm your host, I Will Tree Squiddles, and today is the day. Scream 6 trailer dropped and everyone is losing their minds, including me. I want to talk about it. Everybody's talking about it. But before we get to that, let's watch the trailer. You got a problem here, guy? had this secret. There's a darkness inside of me. It followed me here. And it's gonna keep coming for us. <laughs> we share a certain history. This isn't like any other ghost face. What is this place? A shrine. We've got a lure him in. We execute him. Hello. Let's play a game. You know you're like the tenth guy to try this, right? It never works out for the dipshit in the mask. Maybe. But there's never been one like me, Gail. <laughs> I'm something... different. That's why I'm gonna shoot you in the head. You want me. So let's finish this. Guys? Okay, so... Yes, we've seen a lot of things going on and I absolutely love the trailer because it told you nothing. And I've made many posts of how trailers just tell you every single thing. Like you didn't see the movie. I don't need to go to the theater. But this one didn't tell you anything. And I do appreciate that. You see a lot of new faces. Um, you could tell it's very bolder, grungier, in your face. And also it is amongst everyone. It's not hiding. This ghost face does not hide. It went in that store and just attacked. So this could mean a multiple of things and we're gonna talk about it. And I, I had to write my notes because <laughs> usually I have it like set up, but I, I absolutely, I, I, I was like, okay, I need to talk about this. And, and so I wrote some notes here that I want to address in the trailer. For example, um, when Sam and Sarah was running to the store, like I said, it upgraded with a gun. Um, haven't seen that too much. Uh, straight bold, like it didn't care who saw it which is very telling. Um, you can see that Sam is probably talking to a therapist. Kirby is back and her return was a mystery to me, but it looked like she was in hiding based on her look. Usually Ghostface is someone very close to the characters, someone from their past, or it's a copycat collector. It's collecting things to honor Ghostface, or the person has access to the past killers. That is very telling as well. So I would say maybe a law enforcement or agency, someone that has access to the, the outfits, the, the materials, the clothing. I saw bloody clothing and stuff like that. So someone from the get-go, from the beginning, has been collecting these items this entire time. 
And there was another thing that was saying when Gail was on the phone and she was like, I've been through this before. It said, you've never been me. It's never been one like me. I'm something different. So this, this ghost face or multitude of ghost faced uh, killers, it's probably experienced, older, stronger, very knowledgeable of the characters, very smart and witty but it also could be a cult. So it could be a cult of them that is paying tribute to this killer. Now think of Freddie, Jason, how people dress up, how people act that way, go to parties, go to conventions, and they stand there and act like these characters. I think that train ride is something that is letting us know that Ghostface will go down in history as being one of the most legendary, notorious horror icons. Watching it this time, that train part really showed a lot of what we're going to see. From the, the get-go, I mean, everything else is just going to be interesting. We're just gonna see it play out. Um, I wish the best on this film. I know it's gonna be amazing. I know director Tyler and Matt is just gonna give us the best, the writers. I think we're gonna see something um, not similar to what we've been seeing up to one, one through five. It is just going to bring us as much gore and um, action as possibly can. So I'm, I'm really excited about this. I hope you guys are too. I'm rooting for this movie. We just have to wait till March 10th.